has been a mild day across Alabama, turning cooler though tonight. Got plants outdoors, no cold weather, but a little bit cooler. Temperatures back in the 50s at midnight, around 66 to 7 o'clock, 60 at 10, partly cloudy at 10 o'clock. The wind should be calm. We'll call it partly cloudy and nice, but again after that, turning noticeably cooler. Back in those 50s, some fog is also possible later on tonight. As we go towards midnight, between about midnight and 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Now let's go live with our Tuscaloosa Tower camera. We got some sun, also some cloud cover in place. We're looking off in that west direction towards downtown. Uh, there's some of the buildings of downtown Tuscaloosa there. Some sun and cloud mixture. Had a full sunshine about an hour ago here in Tuscaloosa, but clouds are starting to creep back in. And we'll notice that over the next 24 to 48 hours. Some clouds coming and going. We'll call it partly sunny over the next two days. Now let's go down to the beach and check out things live there. Beautiful weather right now. In fact, right now, we got temperatures around 70 at that camera location. That's a high this afternoon. Wave heights around two to four feet and not a bad looking day. In fact, if you got plans down to the beach this week or as we go into the weekend, there's going to be some change, especially by the weekend with some cooler temperatures taking over. But between now and then, the weather along the Gulf Coast is looking pretty nice. Temperatures across the board. We've got a 68 in Tuscaloosa, 66 in Birmingham, 70 in Haleville and Anderson. Some of the warmer spots there topping out in the low 70s earlier this afternoon doing as well and most areas experience some sunshine except for places like Demopolis, Alabaster and Anderson are reporting partly to mostly cloudy skies as well as Tuscaloosa off from our Tuscaloosa Tower camera. Uh, there are the clouds now across the area really starting to kind of disintegrate on satellite here across central Alabama. Still some patches of clouds but overnight tonight we'll notice a few clouds moving back in. Uh, forecast pollen count over the next several days will be high to extreme. In fact, it's going to tomorrow as well as on Thursday. I notice that pollen and count close to high there. In fact, as we're going to Friday though, and Saturday, that count will come down some. The main culprit, there's a lot of things producing pollen right now, but the main issues are coming from juniper and elm. Now, the good news is the temperatures will be warm tomorrow and on Thursday, but it gets colder. Look at this. We're talking about highs on Friday and Saturday only in the 50s. Look at Saturday morning and Sunday morning, low to mid 30s. Likely there could be a frost for some areas, especially to go to the north of Interstate 20. Anybody in central Alabama, if you already plan that garden or some of those outdoor plants. Uh, keep an eye on that forecast for Saturday morning and Sunday morning. But between now and then, enjoy the warmth before it does turn quite a bit colder later this week in the first half of the weekend. Future cast mode, a few clouds here and there. We'll call it partly sunny again tomorrow. Now becoming mostly cloudy on Thursday as the cold front moves in from the northwest. There could be some showers later in the day. Now the first half of Thursday will be dry. We're talking about after lunch. In fact, later in the day, and Thursday night, a good chance for rain, maybe some thunderstorms, no severe weather expected, just showers and some embedded thunder with that. Then turning much colder on Friday and Saturday. Again, you saw the temperature trends really nose diving there on Friday and Saturday. Highs well down in the 50s, lows in the 30s at times. Now forecast for tonight, 55, some fog overnight. Use caution if you're going to be out on the roadways. Tomorrow temperatures top out in the upper 70s. If you see more sun, uh, you'll likely top out close to 80 tomorrow. Showers and a few thunderstorms storms late in the day on Thursday and Thursday night. Much colder on Friday and Saturday. Still mostly cloudy on Friday. A little more sunshine on Saturday, especially by Sunday. Lots of sun then with daytime high starting to recover back in those upper 60s to low 70s early next week. Be sure to check us out on the radio stations like Moody Radio at 8.9 FM. Philip. All right, thanks a lot, Richard. Now still ahead, the University of Alabama women's tennis program recently celebrated its history. Gary Harris will have that story next in your home team sports. Get out and go with Ford, the best-selling brand in America. Go with the most searched automotive brand on Google. Go with the brand that's number one in owner loyalty. Go with Ford, America's favorite brand. Get 0% for up to 72 months. Plus, select competitive owners. Get an additional 750 Conquest cash on select Ford vehicles. Go to your local Ford dealer today. It's my dream. It's my passion. It's ideas. It's solutions. It's supporting your neighbors. It's having someone you can trust. It's more than a loan. It's just the way we think biking should be.
All around the country, seniors are looking for help. Find out how you can become a home instead caregiver and enjoy a job that nurtures the soul. From the campus of the University of Alabama, live sports. From Alabama's sports team, this is WVUA Sports. Good evening. A reminder, Tider Insider Television coming up tonight right after the news at 6.30. Well, the Alabama gymnastics team will be the number one seed at the Auburn NCAA Regional Weekend after next. Head coach Dana Duckworth says it's important while practicing for the upcoming regional that the team doesn't get uh, into a comfort zone. I think what we need to do is we need to stay um, out of our comfort zone. We need to practice a lot of pressure. We need to do some things in our environment with loud music and moving our team around and doing some fun things that just kind of have a surprise factor to them. As far as our training goes, nothing's going to change because what we're doing is really working. We just need to get those fine details of more stuck landings, more handstands, just knowing we can go into this competition confident and ready to do the job. The University of Alabama women's tennis program has reached new heights in recent seasons under head coach Denny Mines, but the foundation for success